Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to do a Talia jungle guide in which we will talk about the early game and how to generally have a better early game on Talia. Now, I want to say that Pro Guides released a video on Talia saying that she's underrated and you can abuse her. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but that's not the case. She's a B tier at best champion in the jungle, maybe worse and she struggles heavily against most flavor of the month champions right now if you're against a kha'zix or an olaf or a rengar even maybe an elise you're going to struggle pretty much heavily if you don't know how to properly hide and run away from them or counter gank or gank first when your top laner or mid laner has cc or stuff like that it's very difficult to beat consistently these champions because of how weak Talia's early game is and how weak she is right now in general. Now I'm gonna pause right now and we're gonna talk about a bit of the early jungle for Talia and we're not going to showcase the whole game because the point of the video is this is a small tutorial on that we're going to discuss it. Now as, as forever for any video I'm playing jungle with Electric, Chip, Shot, Eyeball, Collection, Ravenous Hunter, my Nimbus Cloak, Celerity and these rune stats and I'm going for the AP jungle item for the blue AP jungle item into Sork Shoes, into Orb, Rabadon's Sork Shoes, uh, Rabadon's Stopwatch, uh, Morinomicon maybe if they have heals, something like that, that's the general build, so let's just get out that of the way, but besides that, the most important thing on Tulia jungle, the first thing, the most important thing is the first clear, and how you react to ganks, and how fast you can actually get to the AP jungle item. That's the most difficult thing for this champion in the jungle. On mid lane, you don't really have to struggle like that. I believe mid lane is simpler to play. Now, onto the jungle, the most important thing, as I said, is to get to the AP jungle item as fast as possible and without dying, if possible. Another thing would be if it's, again, possible for your team to not be 0-14 by that time. But I'm not saying do not gank lanes. I'm saying try to counter ganks where you can, Try to evade the enemy jungler if he invades you by doing smart patting, and maybe try to gank lanes where you have something like a Renekton, a Pantheon, or a Morgana as I have on bot lane. Something with a stun as my as, as I have Sam on top right now. For example, I have right here basically champions that can set you up. That's the only case where you can gank. If you have an Akali top and you see her fighting and you can do one Q and win, then yeah, go gank. But in general, do not try to try only to counter gank her. Maybe try to get a W combo after they engaged because if they flash your w combo you're basically useless if they know how to get away so flash the combo you're useless if they flash the q you're useless if they know how to turn around on you you're useless and if you are against something like uh, mastery something like mastery something like listen maybe a good listen something like elise that know how to position her spider links towards your q something like a vi that knows to engage first something like a kane Kha'Zix, Rengar and so much more, you gotta run from them because early on you might have chances to beat them only if you catch them first with a full Q and they're like half HP but even then they can flash away and escape, turn around and try to kill you and both of these options aren't really necessary if you go for the AP jungle item. Once you have the AP jungle item then you're going to start to be able to do stuff. You're going to start to be able to kill people, to burst people faster, and they won't generally have that much time to react unless they are overfed, and they will resist your damage only if they are overfed. Now, I'm generally banning Olaf for Kha'Zix right now, because Liak has a pretty annoying time against them, especially if they flash out. And we're going to see, I generally start blue, and then move towards right to heal up with the E, I generally ward around here, I put a ward here because my mid laner doesn't generally defend, especially this is flex for example, I don't really do in solo queue. So because I don't defend I put a ward here and for this game I'm actually against something very easy to play against like Malphite. Now if you're against a Zac, uh, sorry, a Malphite, a Shyvana and another champions that cannot really gank early on, then this is the best case scenario for you because you have time to farm, you have time to position yourself on the map, you have time to do a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to get this, I'm kiting as best as I can but it's kind of sad here, I could have moved more. Um, but again you can see this how slow it is the clear. And I move towards here, I cast any. Normally here you should probably stay towards the small one so that only the small one attacks you. But then I've seen an opportunity on top because she did that. And then I take this, I finish this and move towards the gang. But again, this is only this only should be happening if you are certain that you can get the kill here, right? So we can see that she gets the kill onto the scion because he was greeting very hard. 
And we got here the kill. I see Malphite here. I actually don't think he, I see him in the vision. But then I start to use Qs to push it, to help Malphite. I see the teleports coming up, I position myself towards the Poppy, and then I run away. I do this because at this point Poppy and Malphite can both hit me and both kill me, and I need to back off. I know Poppy has no flash, and Malphite is around here. I can just combo him away, flash, move myself away, try to get the Malphite, then I don't care if I die. I know I give a double buff to the Poppy, and Sion here will do something that I call an exp a professional int. Yep. And yeah, that's kind of sad. And I pinged him for that because I'm tilted. But generally, you can see if you get a kill, you start to get advantage and you start to do fine. I'm trying to move and full clear and full clear and full clear. I'm trying to do those things as much as I can. I see the scuttle on the bot side here. I get it and then I start to farm. I move towards bot to see if there's an opening and I do full clears as much as I can. I'm trying to reach that AP jungle item. So that's the goal. Right, so that's the tutorial, that's the thing, try to reach the AP jungle item without dying, or you can die if you get kills, but you can't die to the enemy jungler 1 versus 1 and you can't really lose buffs. So you can ward the buffs and ping your team to help you, or you can start red if you think you're going to get invaded on the red, and you can go blue after that. You can start off this stuff, it's not mandatory to get both scuttle, it's not mandatory to get one scuttle, if, especially if you're against the Kha'Zix, Rengar, Olaf. But if you outpat the enemy and they don't find you, if you're against the Kha'Zix, Olaf and such, Rengar, you have a better time after that with the AP jungle item because you actually have damage to fight them off after that. Not necessarily to 100 to 0 them, but to at least prepare them for mid laner, for top laner to come and help you to get the kill. Because obviously against the cane that also new and catches you, then you're, going, you're not really going to beat him. But, and here I see another opportunity, and because I have a sign on top by the way, this is so simple to set up. I know he has, she has no flash. I get a shutdown, and from this point, I just overscale. I destroy stuff. I recall now, and I don't really care about Malphite coming. I know he can't do much, as you can see here. I recall because I was out of mana. Now I got the AP jungle item here, right? You can see it. I got the vision ward. I should probably go for the red ticket as well. And now the game is over. I can't really uh, be beat, beaten by the enemy. I can't really. Uh, not scale from this and I'll just try to gank I just try to do ganks and by the end of the game I'll be like 10-1 and lose it because my vein decided to troll and go AFK but that's relevant the point is that once you get the AP jungle item and you're 3-1 at this point you just have to farm 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 gank lanes gank lanes where you can like top where there is CC or bot where there is Morgana try to find the fed persons I even get a kill on Echo somewhere there but the most important thing is the first clear I don't really actually I want to showcase this because what I do now I get Infernals, I get full clears, I do full clears as much as I can, as you can see, bam, one clear, two clear, three camps, four camps, five camps, all camps right here, and then move towards top, get another kill onto the poppy, easy kill here, and then I move towards bot, they didn't go for the drake, that's my advantage, I can go after that, I get some plates here, then I move towards the bot lane. You can see the advantage. I already have one level and a half over the Malphite. I see. I put the a plant that were there. Then I move towards bot. I'm trying to get a kill onto the Ezreal. As you can see here. And we get the kill. We get the kill also on Bard. And that means a free Drake. Because the gank was pretty good. I'm 6-1. I'm very far ahead. Two levels. It will be eventually three levels. I'm getting the free Drake here. I didn't have smited. I didn't care much about Malphite. Though. He could have ulted. Maybe steal it. But then that would have been a free kill. Uh, should have probably waited for the smite, though. That would have been a smart choice. But again, the important thing. And, and, okay, from, from this point, all you gotta do is just take camps over and over. Take camps, take camps, take camps. I go for Rabadons, I go for Orb, I go for Stopwatch. I get extremely fed. And at this point, Lia is an extremely annoying to deal with. Assassins can still kill you, so you have to be careful. But if you move with your team, you can burst someone down. And then the assassins won't really have time to assassinate you without dying. Or without your team doing much more damage to their team as they do to yours. So that's the important thing on what you gotta do. This is how you play Tilia jungle, this is how you get the advantage. Now, if you are against a Zac, for example, instead of this Malphite, let's talk all the cases, let's not shy off. If you are against a Zac, what would have he done? He would have ganked bot or top, maybe, and he would have got the advantage there, and you would have probably fall off, but your job would have been only to counter gank, because if Zac jumps on you, and they, this is not a poppy and it's a Renekton, if Zac jumps and you ganked first, and Renekton turns on you, and Zac jumps on you, then you're gone. So just counter gank as much as you can, unless you can one-shot the enemy with a full combo if you have a Renekton on your team, not on theirs. And 
I would have probably farmed towards the AP jungle item, would have probably tried to fight him if I catch him into the jungle, into my jungle or to the river, but not further off. Do not ever engage unless you're extremely confident on your health and you are and, and, and on your abilities. And Zack could have probably just gank, gank, gank everywhere and you would probably start matching his ganks only when you get the AP jungle item. So if you use the chat, I would say maybe try to tell your team to back off at points, maybe ping them to back off. Like right here, you see maybe their vein is here and you know Zack started blue. So it's obvious he will path naturally towards red, towards this zone. Let's just say this is just a case. Maybe it's not like that, but you can spot him if you put the words here or something. And in that case, he would probably jump on vein and you can ping them to back off. That's what you should do because as clear, there is nothing else to do. There is nothing else to do if the enemy jungler ganks a lot in the early game. You can't really counter gank him all the time unless you have blue buff. And if you don't have blue buff because it got solo or it's over, it's it, you're not going to be able to keep up in ganks because you don't have mana. So the best way to get that mana is to get the AP jungle item, to farm till it, and to try to play a bit defensive, smart about it. You try just to counter gank when you can and try to help your team, but sometimes it's possible that the enemy Zack, the enemy Olaf, the enemy Rengar, the enemy Sejuani or Ramos will do better ganks than you simply because they can clear as fast as you if not better early on, maybe faster, and they can do better ganks because Zack can jump from here, Ramos can do 100 max speed towards this vein and she can't escape, and not every time you get a Morgana that can shield you from those ganks. So, that's the difference. Now, in this case, Malphite is very uh, mid-game to late-game oriented champion, just like a Skarner, which no one plays, just like Malphite and Talia. These champions are ganking mid to late game, which is why they aren't really useful in the jungle. Skarner, you can see by his play rate, by his stats. Mostly, it, they aren't champions that scale well. Tanks that into the mid to late game do ganks, do good ganks aren't that searched for because there are many bruisers and assassins that can early on scale to the mid game where they can simply one shot people and then their tank engage is irrelevant if they die if his team dies already to the jungler to the enemy Kha'Zix to the enemy Kane and stuff like that so what you gotta do is try to get the AP jungle item without losing in farm into assist and kills or without dying if possible and that's the best case scenario from that point you should generally try to win you should generally obviously well you should we be winning because at that point when you have the ap jungle item at least you start to be a normal jungler and not someone who struggles a lot on these first clears now i'm looking forward for your questions into the comments I, I this is generally the state of Talia. I think most people would agree with me, but certainly she's not as the pro grind state. She's not abusable and she's not underrated. She is a champion that's B tier at best into the jungle, B tier, A tier, maybe into the bot lane or mid lane. Into the jungle, maybe A tier as well at the highest of elos. But I believe it's very hard to climb with her into the jungle, into the Byron to platinum levels because people don't really know how to help you if you get invaded by the enemy Rengar or don't know how to follow or people don't know how to back off from ganks because even at the highest elos gang Zack would get ganks but then generally they will get ganks in better CS positionings and waves and rarely you're going to get destroyed by an enemy Zack in terms of spamming ganks the whole map there will be cases but not that often as on some silver to platinum game level okay so I, I say Zach because that's a matchup that's quite difficult if he ganks a lot successfully and in rest I guess you could turn around and once you get the AP jungle item against all of these champions you could start to be more aggressive you could start to press that E before their Rengar Kha'Zix jump on you and you can try to get them down you could do stuff like that but that's not simple either so you don't get to a point where you automatically win such as a master retari combination well you don't do that you try to find yourself key engages with two w to combo with an alt and try to scale from there after you kill someone one or two people you try to get objective at that point also that's another topic for discussion you get drakes early on only if one you see the enemy jungler jumping on it or you have some vision and they are low hp and you're kind of is can you are able to steal it basically and kill the enemy jungler here because he greeted out on the drake or when you get a successful gank onto the bot or mid and you four man it and they can't really well two people needs to be dead at least two people and also don't forget to have a smite up or or you can start doing drake after you have the ap jungle item because of the mana regen that you get from the passive right so that's 
pretty much all you need to know besides the fact that you need to understand how to kite. So one another reason why people don't play it is because also the kiting factor and you can't really stay in one spot. You got to move around the circles and stuff like that. So if you want to pick this champion up, if you want to practice it, this is everything that you need to do, but it's not easy. So don't expect this champion to be easy. Maybe it's one of the most frustrating champions in the game by the amount of hours you have to put in until you see some results, to be honest. And she is stronger than Skarner, I would give you that. Now, this is my guide for early game. I really hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time, guys. Have a nice day, night, whatever you, wherever you are. And see you next time, guys. Goodbye.